here is a low power view of the pleural fluid sample showing a highly cellular yield. We can see that the cells are arranged in rounded clusters and even at this power we can appreciate that some of the clusters appear to have these scalloped borders. At a slightly higher power, we can see that uh, the clusters are relatively small, uh, they're quite dense and three-dimensional, and we do not at this power appreciate marked nuclear pleomorphism. Here we can appreciate the scalloping of the outlines of the cell clusters. We are not seeing smooth and very rounded community borders like we would see in the classical adenoCA. In this uh, high power view, we can appreciate that the nuclei are fairly central, meaning that they are not really abutting the edge of the cell. And uh, we can see quite rounded, relatively smooth nuclear membranes with very prominent nucleoli. Uh, the cytoplasm is quite delicate over here. And um, in other areas, it appears a little bit more dense. And here, for example, in this cell, we can appreciate that there's a bit of a two-tone cytoplasm. And in some of the cells, we can see a little bit of bubbliness around the periphery of the cytoplasm, almost like a lacy skirt. Moving on to the alcohol-fixed smears, um, we can see again these relatively small clusters of cells, abundantly cellular, and uh, we can appreciate the scalloped outlines of many of these crowded three-dimensional clusters of cells. On higher power, there is a moderate degree of nuclear pleomorphism. The nuclear membranes are slightly irregular, and again, we appreciate very prominent nucleoli. And again, on higher power, we can see that there is a moderate amount of either dense or slightly vacuolated cytoplasm. Nucleoli are extremely prominent and we can see the occasional binucleated cell. Other findings that are not infrequently seen in mesothelioma are cell-in-cell -cell arrangements. For example, you can see here that is one atypical cell embracing um, another and here in fact there are two nuclei within this particular cell. This is not specific for mesothelioma, it can also be seen in other malignant tumours. So in summary, we have seen some of the features of malignant mesothelioma. Usually the fluids are highly cellular. Cells are often arranged in cohesive clusters with scalloped borders. Occasionally they can be seen as dispersed cells. Often there is only mild to moderate nuclear pleomorphism. Nucleoli can be prominent and C ratios can be raised. And cytoplasm is fairly dense and it can preserve that two-tone cytoplasm characteristic of mesothelial cells. Another feature that we sometimes see um, in the alcohol-fixed papanicolaou stained smears are small orangophilic pseudoparakeratotic cells. These are not seen in this particular case.